Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm George Brobin and in this video today, I'm going to be talking about the 30 day challenge. So I've completed 30 days of exercise. Now this was over a month ago. So I'm going to talk about what I've been doing since then. If I've been carrying on exercising every single day, what I've been doing, if I've made progress, if I've had a dip, dip back down into lazy habits, what I've been doing since then. First of all, let's talk about those 30 days. What did I do in the Better You in 30 Days Challenge? So on day one, I recorded how many press-ups I could do, how long I could do a plank for, how many squats I could do, how many calf raises I could do, reverse crunches, toe touches, lunge jumps, and jackknifes. For all of those, I recorded my max reps, how long I could do them for, how many reps I could do. Now this was just to set the bar to see what my limit was for my maximum reps. So over the 30 days, my goal was to improve every one of those things so I could do more reps and hold a plank for longer. So to try and improve on everything, this is what I did for each muscle group. So over the 30 days, I'd practice using the muscles and working on them nearly every single day. I'd do some sort of exercise or physical activity every day. Sometimes it would be, say, chest. Sometimes it would be back. Sometimes it would be legs. So I would have rest days for certain muscle groups, but every day I was doing some sort of exercise, some sort of physical activity. Now my diet wasn't the strictest while I was doing this, but I do normally eat quite healthily. So it was a good vegan diet. Most things were really healthy, but sometimes I would have an ice cream or some dark chocolate if I was craving something sweet. But every day I was always having some fruit and veg. And because on most of the days I was burning so many calories, I was always in a calorie deficit. So I wasn't eating more calories than I was using each day. Also over the 30 days, I'd normally be waking up at 7 a.m. every single day sometimes just before like quarter to seven, 10 to seven, and I'd get up straight away. I wouldn't look at my phone. I turn my phone off overnight, use an iPad as an alarm. So I'll wake up, get straight out of bed, and that's developing that willpower, that mental strength. You just get up, start the day. Because so I know that if I wake up and I just lay in bed, then I will lay there for another hour or two hours, and it's just a lazy start to the day. So I practice building up that willpower, that mental strength, and just getting the day started, getting up straight away. And this was getting me used to pushing myself, doing hard things. Because if you can push yourself every day to do something difficult, to go out of your comfort zone, then you're going to become mentally stronger. So let's have a look at my total number of reps for each exercise over the 30 days. Now I will say, near the end of the 30 days, for about the last five days, I was very lazy. I don't think I did any exercise specific to this at all. I would go for walks, jogs, play tennis and play football. But I wasn't really doing press-ups or planks or squats, calf raises. I just had a rest completely from all of that. I was very lazy. It was poor from me. I know, I know, my hands are up. It was terrible. So bearing that in mind, let's see how many reps I did for each exercise for about 25 days. On top of that, I did also have a lot of rest days for certain muscle groups. So I wouldn't be training chest, legs, back, abs every single day. There'd be a sort of rotation going. So sometimes it would be chest and back. Sometimes it would be legs and core. Sometimes it would just be cardio and I'd have a rest for all the other muscle groups. So over the 30 days, my total number of toe touches was 350. My total number of reps for jackknife was 460. My total number of lunge jumps was 240. My total number of reverse crunches was 295. The total number of squats that I did was 660. The total time that I held a plank for was 45 minutes. I did a total of 1,000 calf raises and the biggest of them all I did a total of 2,100 press-ups over the 30 days. So as I've said, I didn't do every exercise every single day. Some days I'll just do press-ups and a plank. Some days I'll just do squats, calf raises. Some days I'll just work on the abs. Some days I'll do none of those exercises and just do cardio such as tennis or football, going for a walk, going for a jog. So I did have a lot of rest days for those muscle groups, but I was always doing something every single day. Okay, and now for the moment that you've all been waiting for. I know you've been so excited to hear, how have I done? My DMs have just been flooded. Everyone's asking, when's the video coming out? How did you do? What's going on? That didn't happen. <laughs> Although actually, I have heard from a few old friends. They were interested in the 30 day challenge and they were wondering what I was doing and how things were going. So it is good to document things like this because then you might inspire someone else to do something and to take action, to do some more exercise. And it's just good to have a catch up with old friends. It's really good if you can inspire someone else to do something. Okay, so here we go. On day one, I managed to do a plank for three minutes. On day 30, I managed to do a plank for four minutes. So I improved my plank by a whole minute. 
for press ups on day one I managed to do 40 reps on day 30 I managed to do 50 and a half reps so that's a great improvement there ab toe touches on day one I managed to do 70 reps on day 30 I managed to do 100 reps so that's a big improvement there definitely increased my core strength squats on day one I managed to do 60 day 30 I managed to do 80 now squats, I've got quite weak hamstrings, they're quite tender and I don't know why, they just always get really sore and I normally pull a muscle if I try and do squats. So being able to improve that muscle strength and be able to do 80 squats, that's an improvement. I know some people might be able to do a lot more than that, but for me personally, I've managed to increase the number of reps, so that's a good achievement. Also with those squats, I definitely managed to increase my willpower, my mental strength. Because on day one, when I did 60 reps, my brain was just telling me, stop, stop, give up, it's too hard. But on the 30th day, I managed to push past that and just kept on going. It was hurting and hurting and hurting, but I just kept on pushing and managed to do more reps. So if you can increase your mental strength, you can do so much more. Reverse crunches, on day one, I did 52 reps. On day 30, I did 65 reps. Lunge jumps for day one, I did 40 reps. Day 30, I did 50 reps. Jackknife on day one, I did 36 reps. Day 30, I did 45 reps, so that's a good improvement. And again, that was that mental strength. My abs were on fire, it was hurting me so much, but I just managed to push through and keep on going, do more reps. If you can increase that willpower, that mental strength, you can push through your limits, you can do so much more. And the biggest improvement of all, calf raises on day one, I managed to do 50 reps. On day 30, I managed to double it and I managed to do 100 reps. Whew. So from doing that jogging, playing tennis, playing football, practicing calf raises, that definitely managed to improve the muscle, muscular endurance and muscular strength. And I managed to do double the amount in 30 days. And again, part of that mental strength, being able to push through your limits and do more than you think you can and just keep on going. Now, what have I been doing since that 30 day challenge? Honestly, after that, I had a rest. I was a little bit more lazy. I wasn't doing as much exercise every single day. Although I was still playing tennis, playing football, doing cardio like that. But I just wasn't doing as many press ups and plank and squats and all of that. Also since then the gyms have reopened. So I've been going there more regularly, doing weight training, resistance training. My tips for anyone who wants to do a 30 day challenge is to set yourself a challenge. That's the first thing. If you can give yourself a number of days, say 30 days, then you're going to have that goal, you're going to have that challenge, you know in 30 days time, you're going to look back and see if you've progressed, see what you've developed, see if you've got stronger, fitter, faster, if you've lost weight, if you've gained weight, whatever your goal is. It's important to set a time limit on it so you can track your progress and you've got something to work towards. If you don't have a goal, then you're not going to be nearly as motivated to do the work. So give yourself a time limit, give yourself a goal and just work on it every single day. Also, I'd recommend that you make yourself accountable whether it's telling a friend or a family member what you want to do and what your goal is, maybe get them to do it with you, then you can be accountable and you're more likely to do the work and put in the effort. Or document it on social media, get a camera out or your phone out, record yourself, tell everyone what you're going to do and then show it. Because if you put it out to the world, then you're going to feel like you've got to do it. People are watching you and you've got to put in the effort. Also, if you do something like this, then you might inspire someone and that's a great feeling for you and it's also great for someone else. So what's next? Once you've completed a challenge like this, you've got to set yourself another challenge. Because in the 30 days since I did the 30 day challenge, I haven't had a goal, I haven't had something to work towards. So I haven't been nearly as motivated. I haven't been working towards a goal. I've still been going to the gym and exercising and working out, but I haven't been doing nearly as much as I was in the 30 day challenge. It's because I'm not aiming for anything in particular. There's no goal. So now my next challenge is to get better at running. I'm not a natural runner. I don't normally run that much. I do occasionally play tennis and football where I'll jog, but it's more like interval training where you jog, walk, jog, walk. So now I'm gonna work on my long distance running and try and get better at that and improve my cardio. I think that working on something like that will increase your willpower, your mental strength. Because there are so many things that you think you can't do. There are so many struggles, especially with running. Your legs start to ache, you get out of breath. So you've got to be able to push through and just carry on. I did my first jog this morning. It was raining outside, it was really windy. I could have so easily just said, no, no, it's, it's too tough, I don't want to do it. I'll stay inside, stay dry. But I thought, no, that could just be an easy excuse. You need to stop making excuses and start making changes. 
So I went outside, did my run, wind and the rain was blowing in my face. It wasn't nice, but I actually quite enjoyed it being not nice because when you can push through something like that and you get past that struggle, you push through your limits, push through the boundaries, then you feel so good and it's so rewarding. So that's my next goal, to improve my running, work on my cardio and increase that mental strength, that willpower. What's your next challenge? Let me know in the comments down below, DM me on social media, tweet me, tag me, whatever it is, use the hashtag better you in 30 days challenge, work on something, set yourself that goal, work on it every single day, start seeing the results, push through any barriers, any limitations you have and just develop every single day. Stop making excuses and start making changes. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.